Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be all about how to get the best out of your wedding dress appointment. So I'm here today in Minster Designs, which is a bridal boutique in Wimborne in Dorset. We have a lot of brides come in and maybe they're not prepared in the way that they should be or it's hard for them to make a decision because they haven't got different factors in play. And it's such an important moment in your life and especially your wedding planning choosing your dress that I wanted to share with you our top tips for making sure that you come fully prepared and you're able to make that decision and have a really beautiful experience. So number one, do not bring a ton of people with you. If you guys watch Say Yes to the Dress, you'll already know this to be true, but if you're bringing any more than two or three people, you're gonna get confused and people are gonna be really too highly opinionated for you to be able to make a decision. So bring maybe just your mum, your maid of honour and your sister, something like that. Ideally just one or two people, maybe three, but really try not to bring too many. And think carefully about who you bring. It needs to be people who are going to be honest with you, but who are going to put your views totally at the top. So if it's not a style they like, they're still going to say you look amazing and they can see that you're happy in it. Don't get too hung up on bringing someone who's a total fashionista who will supposedly make you look your best because actually you'll look your best when you're happy and when you love the dress. Number two, know what kind of bride you are. We have all kinds of brides come in. Some of them are gonna want to dance the night away and need something they can move in, or some of them want to look like a total Disney princess. So just try and think about how much movement you're gonna wanna have, what the temperature's gonna be like, whether you're gonna want to be running around or playing with kids, and just think about what kind of freedom you're going to need to have, how much bling you want, and it really helps the bridal consultant if you already have a few of those things kind of in mind. Number three, don't rush your search. It's very possible that the first dress you try on you'll fall in love with and it will be the one. And that's not a too unusual and don't be afraid to commit to the dress if you really love it and you think it's the one. But also, on the other hand, don't rule out dresses too quickly and rush around and try on 20 in one appointment. Really take your time. When you put on a dress, if you know it isn't right, try and work out exactly why. Is it because the neckline is too deep or the waist hits too high or too low or is it too beaded or is it too lacy? And try and really get a bit more information about what's wrong with it rather than just, I don't like it, it's not me. Because that will really help the consultant hone in on exactly what you do love. Number four, Bring your accessories with you. If you have an heirloom that you want to incorporate, then bring it along and especially bring a strapless nude bra and whichever shoes you're gonna be wearing if you know already. If you come to the appointment and you're wearing a bright red big bra, it's gonna be really difficult for you to actually envisage what the dress is gonna be like. A lot of dresses don't need bras because they're built with loads of extra structure, so that's fine. But just make sure that you're wearing underwear that is gonna be appropriate for the occasion. And if you already know which shoes you want, maybe you've got some blingy Jimmy shoes, bring them along so you can see the height of them as well. Number five, move around in the dress. Try walking, try spinning, try just doing all the different things you're gonna be doing on your day. And that's why we say you should keep it on for five, maybe 10 minutes analyzing the bits that you don't like so you can really get a feel for how you're in it. When I put my brides in the dress that is the one, you can immediately tell because she just can't stop moving. She feels so relaxed, she's like touching all the fabrics, she totally loves it and they kind of all move around and look all kind of happy and giddy and that's when you can tell it's the one. And often it's one totally different to the one that I thought they would love, but when someone puts on the dress that is their dress, that's the kind of feeling that they have. So try moving around in your dress, see if you can handle a big train, if you're gonna be walking around a large venue, if you've got stairs, all those kinds of things. Move around in your dress and see how it fits with your body. Number six, if possible, and very ideally, know your venue and your date before you shop. Even if it's not totally 100% booked, if you know you're having a big grand country home or if you're having a modern hotel and then know the kind of date like August 2018 or something like that because that will make a huge difference to your budget, your style, all those kinds of things. If you're having a big country home, you're maybe gonna want a more traditional dress or something dramatic to fit with the occasion. Um, if you're having a barn wedding, you're probably gonna want something quite light and relaxed. So the venue will 
affect your dress a lot um, and also the date you should be looking at your dress about a year in advance um, if you're doing it two years that's probably too long because fashions change your body shape might change your taste might change so I wouldn't recommend being more than a year and a half but I also wouldn't recommend being less than six to nine months um, because the dress will take four to six months to arrive, then there's alterations, then you want a bit of contingency time just in case. So I would say start looking for your dress about a year in advance, maybe 14 months, that kind of thing. But know your date because if you're gonna need rush delivery, that's gonna cost extra. Different designers take different amounts of times to make their dresses. So just be prepared um, with your date and your venue style if you can. Don't buy your veil until you buy your dress. Um, it can be really tempting to start getting some trinkets out the way so that you've got accessories and you can start getting excited and buy some inexpensive things. But once you have your dress, you'll then know the exact color, length, style, fabric of your veil. White is not really a color in wedding dresses. There's ivory, there's champagne, there's off-white, there's oyster. There's so many different types of whites. So if you buy a veil before your dress, it may not match and it could really limit your dress shopping. Or worse than that, you might have to just buy another veil and have wasted your money. So ideally buy your veil at the same time that you're buying your dress because you're already in the dress. You can just match your veil the same. I have had brides who've come in, they've bought a dress with us and then they've come back maybe a few weeks later to try on a veil, but they're just trying on their veil in their normal clothes in like a coat. And you can't really tell the length of it or how it's gonna look as an overall picture. So I'd really recommend buying some of the accessories, certainly the veil, when you're actually buying your dress. And then you kind of have that whole package all ticked off in one go. Number nine, be honest about your budget. This works both up and down. Don't try and tell yourself you're only gonna spend 500 if you're actually willing to spend 1,000 or 2,000. And don't tell the consultant that thinking that they're gonna upsell you, just tell them your real budget. And similarly, if you think maybe I'll spend 5,000 but you actually feel really quite sick spending more than three, then don't tell them 5,000. Tell them your real budget because you're only, get your heart broken either way so don't try on dresses that are more expensive than you can realistically afford and also don't try on dresses that are cheaper than you're willing to spend because you do get what you pay for and it's really important that you um, make sure you're sticking to your budget and you're not trying on too many either side because it's just going to end in tears but realistically if you do fall in love with a dress that's a thousand pounds more than you originally planned if you can find that money, then don't be afraid to try it on. But if you really, really can't find the money, I wouldn't recommend trying on dresses that are more expensive than you can afford. But be honest with your consultant about what your budget range is. Maybe you can say, I'd be happy to spend up to five, but ideally I'd spend four, something like that. Give them a guide on the kind of money you want to spend and see what they show you. And lastly, don't be afraid to commit. Choosing your dress is actually very similar to choosing your husband. There's always gonna be more to try on, there's always gonna be what if there's one that got away and you could try on hundreds of dresses and still not pick one. But at the end of the day, you have to pick one and that's your dress for life. And it's the same as your fiance. There's always other guys you could date. Maybe there was some Prince Charming waiting around the corner, but at some point you have to say, this person makes me really happy and I want to spend my life with them. So it's the same with your dress. At some point you have to commit. I would say, if you choose it in your first appointment, that's totally fine. That happens very, very often to me when I'm helping brides try on dresses. But certainly no more than two or three appointments, I wouldn't say. By that time, you should be finding a dress you like. You should be narrowing down your views on what suits you and how much bling you like, how much lace you like, what kind of feel you like, all that kind of stuff. So at some point, commit and then get excited because you have found your dress. Thank you so much for watching. That is my top 10 tips for how to nail your bridal appointment. Thank you so much for Minster Designs for having me. I'll include all their links in the description box so you can see more of their collection and find out exactly where they are. Thank you so much. Bye.